What? A book haul? A book haul? A book haul? I have no idea what's in this package. Hi guys, welcome to indeed a book haul, an unboxing to be specific. You guys know that usually I just show you the books that I buy in my reading vlogs instead of making a separate video. If you're ever curious which books I buy in a month, just watch my reading wrap ups because every book that I buy in a month, I also read that month. Simple. But today we're doing things a little bit different, turning things around because I didn't buy the books in this package. Another booktuber, Michelle from Books Michelle, bought these for me. We saw two other booktubers, Sabine and Britt, do a similar thing where they bought each other books that they think the other person would like and we thought that was a really cool idea so we wanted to do that as well. The goal here is to just buy a book for the other person that you think the other person might really like. So I'm basically just choosing Michelle's book haul and Michelle is choosing my book haul, which is this. So if you're interested in what books I chose for Michelle, you can go watch her video, but this one is the books that she chose for me that she thinks I would really enjoy. Oh, I'm so glad it. <laughs> Don't worry, we looked at each other's Goodreads and sent each other pictures of our bookshelves, so we really made sure that we bought something new for each other. Now let's travel back in time to the afternoon where I was waiting for Michelle's package to arrive. I'm waiting for my package. Oh boy, I can't wait for my package to arrive. Hmm, I wonder what Michelle chose for me. Michelle is such a fantastic and fast reader that every book that I found for her, she'd already read. Oh, who is me? I told her I like dark stories and fantasy, so I wonder what she chose for me. There are a lot of anticipated books that I haven't read yet, so maybe she got me something that's already on my radar. Or maybe she went with something that's more of a hidden gem. Oh, I can't wait for my package to arrive. So there's that. This is the moment. This is the moment that I will find out what kind of books she thought I would really enjoy. Ah. I'm scared of opening it. I feel like I sh should be saying way more before I find out what's in this package. But honestly, I just I just have to open it, I think. Oh, I'm just really curious if it's something that I already know or if it's going to be completely new to me. What if this is something that I'm like, oh gosh, there's a reason I haven't read that book yet. <laughs> I trust Michelle's instincts. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to try to only look at like one book at a time. I know this is one of her favorite books. Recently she uploaded a video in which she talked about books that you have to read in your lifetime and this was one of them and I just remember thinking oh that sounds really cool because this is My Sister Rosa by Justine Labalestier? Labalestier surnames. This is a thriller about a boy who has a sister named Rosa and the thing about it is that the sister is really creepy, very sadistic, kind of like psychopath, I think. Weird things start happening. She's really good at, I think, maintaining her cute persona, but this main character is the only one who really knows that she's actually kind of like really creepy. I don't normally read thrillers, so I'm really interested in this actually because I I just recently watched Gone Girl on Netflix and now I'm like, mm, maybe I should read some thrillers because it's actually kind of cool. So I'm really excited for this one. If I'm ever in the mood for like some real chillings, I'm gonna go with this one. But I'm trying to find like the, the notes before I look at the next book. <clears throat> On the note she writes, this is one of my favorites. It's dark and creepy, even more so because it's also realistic. The story is so addictive and I want to spread my love for this book. I hope you will like it as well. Love, Michelle. Oh, that's really cool because I told her I really like dark books and this sounds pretty dark. For the next one, I'm just gonna read the note first and maybe see if I can guess which book it is. So she says, this is a dark fantasy book that features a dangerous library and it's all about unwritten books and different stories. I thought it sounded perfect for you. I own this one as well, but I haven't read it yet. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Dangerous library, unwritten books and different stories. I have an idea, let's just see. Okay. Yes, The Library of the Unwritten by AJ 
hot quiz. Recently, a booktuber, I don't remember who it was, she was talking about this and how this was like her new favorite book. From what I understand from the back of the book, this is about a library in hell full of books that are unfinished and our main character kind of keeps track like of all of these books but then like one of the characters escapes and all sorts of things go wrong it kind of sounds like the sorcery of thorns but better <laughs> it also kind of reminds me of ninth house and that one has very strong themes of like hell and things like that so i was like super in into that mood so this sounds really cool i'm really happy with these Thank you so much, Michelle. Two beautiful new books and they're the same height, which is always nice because that looks nice on the shelf. Why am I so shallow? <laughs> I can't wait to read these books and also review them. For these ones, I cannot promise that I will read them this month because I, I have a lot of other books on my TBR as well, but I'm definitely gonna read these soon. And I can't wait to tell you about what I thought of them. Yay. So that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read any of these books and make sure you check out Michelle's video because she's going to open the books that I chose for her. And that was all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in another one. Goodbye.